Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do your daily vibes for the upcoming energy. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, this reading is not sign-specific. It's not time-specific. This is just a message that I am getting for somebody. I feel as though this is for the next, within the next three days, okay? That's that's what I just heard, the next three days. So whatever that means for you. But then again, don't take my word on that because when I, after I said that, I just thought, well, it could be a little bit longer. I don't know. I don't know. may not be for you at all, but who knows? Let's just see what we got here. What do we have? Whatever is happening, there's universal guidance. Because I just saw 444. 444 four, four, four is angel guidance, universal guidance. Pay attention to the signs. Somebody is getting some signs. Um, there's invisible forces when you see 444. Four, four. Uh-oh. Ace of Cups reversed. Now this is uh, shutting down emotionally. <laughs> A lot of people don't want to hear that, right? Oh no, this is not going the way that I want it to go. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. That negative bitch. Sorry, I slept. It's, it is what it is, right? Something is going in the wrong direction. This is a loss of emotional fulfillment. It's a loss of love. There's an emotional blockage here. This is shutting down. We could, we could make it upright like all the other readers do. But that wouldn't be real, would it? Because that's not what happened. We keep it real here at Soul Source Tarot. Huh? This is real shit. This is reality. Not fantasy. This is reality right here. This is something you can touch. So this is a, okay. <laughs> Got a couple of hands here. It's like, this is taking something away that is emotionally unfulfilling. It's, it's taking, pushing it down, getting rid of it. For something better. So yeah. So for all of you. That are still watching. Congratulations. There was a shitload that clicked off. Instantly. When they saw this card. Somebody's getting a gift, a big gift. It's like they go through this path and it's like, the, it's like the universe, God, higher power, whatever. It's funny that I said universal protection, universal guidance. It's like they have this gift for you. There's a gift here, but you have to walk down that road. You have to walk down that path and you may have to leave something behind that is emotionally <laughs> unfulfilling. It's just not available. Something that is emotionally unavailable. There's an emotional loss here. You're going to have to stop giving it your energy. You're going to have to stop allowing it to block you from moving forward. You've got you to gotta, you gotta walk down that path. So this, is, it's, it, this right now, it, it, it's been waiting. It's like they have this huge gift. They've been waiting to show you, waiting to give it to you. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is traveling down that path. 
congratulations. I mean, that's what I need to say. It's like, congratulations, you made it. You passed this test. Here's your reward. I don't know where that is coming from, but... This loss is actually a gain. Because you're going to gain something that is stable, something solid, something that you can actually hold on to. Something long term, something more permanent. Something that is real. So the really big opportunity here that is that is I think it's it's so big. It's so big. It's so big. Somebody has a big opportunity. Whew. Three of swords reversed. Now this is a painful separation. Sorrow, pain, hurt, heartache. This could even be This is leaving the past hurts behind. Letting the pain go. It's like seeing, I think that we have somebody here that hasn't been able to see that there's a bigger, better opportunity, but it's like now they're starting, they're, they're starting to heal. They're starting to let the pain go. Queen of swords reversed. King of swords. Woo. There could be a disagreement. Okay. We could have, we could, some, there could definitely be a disagreement here. We have um, a bitter woman, a bitter woman um, that is very brash and assertive and mean. And she may be dealing with a counterpart that sees exactly who she is. Okay, this person is very wise. This person is hard to love. This person is, is very uh, factual and logical and authentic and it, it looks like this person is really knows if you take a look at like take a look at, at on his face he's like I, I know exactly who you are I see you for who you are and this person may be very upset because this person knows who they are it's like they sees right through them I think we have this person that sees right through this person this person is cold very, very cold. So we have a cold-hearted individual that may have been hurting another person mentally. Because so these swords are mental. Not providing love. Hold, withholding love. With, you know, withholding love. Withholding emotional support. And causing another person pain as a way to... Um, Manipulate, but this person sees clearly who this person is. This person is greedy. They think it's like you're greedy, you're just a greedy bitch. Sorry for the words, they come out as they're supposed to come out. So we got a greedy individual here and we got this other person that sees it. Clearly, they do. They really, really, really do. Somebody has been obsessed with proving a point. Very, very stubborn. Miserable. But we have this person that here that is, is wise enough to know who they're dealing with. We have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. doesn't have to be. This person is very wise, very intelligent, very in intellectual is very experienced and mature. They're dealing with a cold-hearted B-I-T-Z-H who has tried to manipulate with withholding love, trying to, you know, uh, 
withhold emotional support, withhold emotion, withhold uh, any kind of tender loving care as a way to, uh, it's almost like a victim kind of situation. This person is very lonely and bitter and hard to love and definitely hasn't been offering any love, isn't even lovable isn't even lovable at all. This person's been suffering. This one, I think is this one, has been suffering and feeling, because I do, I think it's, I think that somebody's been feeling a lot of pain from this person that is very cold and hard to love and has caused a lot of problems. Now, this could be um, a wife or, or a stepmother or some, or, you know, this could, for example, this could be the husband and his wife. And this is the this is the stepmother, okay? And she's the she's the wicked stepmother. She's she's uh, she's very malicious. She's not she's not the mother that that is. She's not a mother to his kids, okay? She's just a bitch. So anyway, very greedy, very selfish. So yes, we have a very selfish individual here who doesn't even know what love is. And she's been hurting another person. And But this is releasing pain in reverse. A bigger, better opportunity here. So somebody is seeing a big opportunity. It's like, this is so bright. This is big, big. We have an ending here. It's the completion of a phase. Now, this Three of Wands reverse. This is dashed expectations. It's like somebody missed an opportunity. They did. They may have missed it already, and now they're not going to miss it again. It's like, I'm not going to miss this opportunity again. There's been a delay in completion. There, there has. There's been a delay in, this is a delay in stepping over the finish line. It's like there's been a delay in getting this gift, this golden opportunity because of this person. It feels like this person was trying to make sure that they were making the right decision because this person really thinks about things. It's like they're making some sort of decision based on facts. And now they see the truth about who they're dealing with. Now they have a big golden opportunity that, they, that the universe, because this is God's hand or a universe's hand, hasn't shown to them yet. But it's being shown now. It is being shown now. There was a delay in it being given because this person had a lesson to learn. The world card is a lesson. But and this is victory after sorrow and after learning a major life lesson. So we have a major life lesson that has been learned about faith, God, believing in yourself, trust, self-worth. Oh, somebody had to learn about self-worth and self-value and greed as well. I feel as though somebody may have chosen uh, to get married to somebody or to commit to somebody because of money. They married them for money. And maybe that was the life, the, the lesson. You don't marry for money. You marry for love. Somebody didn't marry for love. They married for money. They did. It was definitely not for love. And so they were su they suffered because of it. They definitely suffered because of it when you marry for the wrong reasons or you choose a partner for the wrong reasons. I think we do have somebody here that chose somebody for the wrong reasons. And it feels like now they're suffering. But this they're about to come out of this difficult period of suffering. Now this is a confession or it's some sort of higher power that is involved. It is. This is a higher power. The Hierophant is the highest authority. That is, that is, and remember, it's funny that I mentioned that 444 because this is healing. 
There's, there could be there could be somebody that is deciding to go their own way. Okay, they've they've been holding on for a really long time, but this is a card of independence, and maybe now they know their value, they know their worth. This is a card of faith and believing in oneself and taking their own path. Somebody's going to be going down a new path by themselves. That's what I see. I also feel for some of you, for some of you, if you, if this is another route, we're going another route. If you have been independent and you've worked really hard to build up your abundance and you've been waiting and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and you've been working on yourself and you're in your you're set you're enjoying life you're waking up every day and you're in a good mood and you're secure and you're stable and you're solid you could have somebody that was that sees it for some of you this person right here that is stable solid secure and valuable and not chasing this woman or person doesn't chase no I'm good by myself. I'm good on my own. This person that is very good on their own has somebody that is watching them. Has somebody that is interested. But this person has been with an ex that took advantage of them. So they may be fearful. They may be fearful. They may be having a hard time opening up because they were abused by their ex. This is an abusive ex right here. It is. The Queen of Swords reversed. So somebody was abused by an ex. And so they may be fearful of a commitment, but it's like they may want a commitment and they're going to need to have faith to step forward. So I feel like somebody is going to be going down a new path. If you are the single person and you are doing well, you're not desperate. This person ain't desperate. Okay. This is somebody who knows their value and is a hard worker and has money in the bank and is abundant and, you know, is, is set. I'm good. I, I, I'm fine by myself. If somebody comes along, great. This person doesn't settle, doesn't need to settle. So anyway, this person is watching. This person is interested. This person sees this person's abundance. This person sees this person's value. This person's security. This person's stability. And they may be thinking about opening up to this person but I don't think they're ready to yet because they were dealing they they dealt with their ex who didn't love them and they're probably you know they're they're healed or they've done a lot of healing but they may be still a little bit fearful of commitment so just be just relax okay if that's your story I feel like this person is interested very interested very 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 interested but they were, they did have an ex that didn't love them. So anyway, there's a big, huge golden opportunity here that is waiting to be grabbed. It is. There's a, there's a, there's a new beginning with the world card. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of this delay. It's the end of a painful situation. So what is this world card? It is a new beginning, a major completion. We have a major new beginning. We have a new chapter that is about to start. Whew. This is putting in effort. Somebody, this somebody is going to put in an effort. They are going to take a chance. I feel like there's an opportunity to uh, reconnect with somebody that you may have known when you were a child, somebody from your hometown, somebody that you grew up with. Um, this person may be watching you while you work. They may know what you do for work. They may be investigating what you do for work. I feel like this person is a very hard worker, whoever, either you or the, this, we have somebody here that is a very hard worker, um, they're very skilled, very, very skilled, and they put a lot of effort into making sure whatever they do is done perfectly, okay, they, they're perfectionist, they like to do things right, so I feel like we have somebody here that, it, they, if you're waiting for somebody to communicate with you, and um, you are single. You are this single person and you are waiting for this person to communicate with you and they haven't. I think you need to wait maybe, maybe, maybe another 
three days. I don't know where three days is coming from. Wait another three days, you might hear from them. Um, I think this person is fearful of commitment. They're fearful of getting hurt again. Anyhow, let's change the subject here. Um, we do have uh, a soulmate connection here. Or a past life connection. Somebody from the past that you have... Maybe you went to school with this person. Or you worked with this person. And now it's time to start a chapter with them or to start a new journey with them. There could be a reconciliation. And when I say reconciliation, reconciliation could be somebody that you have known since you were a child. doesn't mean you had sex with them. It's somebody that you are very familiar with, somebody that you have a soul connection with. You feel the connection that you are very familiar with. It's like when you see this person, it's like, oh, I know you. I know you. So I know that I know you or I know I've seen you before. What's your name or whatever. And it's like, oh, yeah, 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 that kind of thing. Anyway, we have a big, huge opportunity for something that could lead to something long term and it could lead to marriage. It could lead to commitment here. It could lead somebody down a new pathway, a new doorway after they let go of this unrequited love situation with the ex because the Queen of Swords does represent an ex. So if you think this is your ex that you are going to re reconcile with, I'm here to say no, this is not an ex. Did you hear me? This is not an ex. Anyhow. Yeah. So we got it. We have an, an opportunity here. A brand new opportunity that could lead to something real, solid, and stable. Somebody is going to receive an offer. They're going to receive an invitation. They're going to they're gonna hear from the person. And I think it's a new person. They're going to hear from somebody that wants to start a relationship, to begin a relationship, to start the courting process. I think somebody is going to start the courting process or their relationship is going to step it up to the next level. If you are already in a relationship and, and things are going well, you know, you could be getting a proposal or you could be stepping it up to the next level of the relationship, okay? Um, I do see love here, an offer of love, especially if you are single. I don't think, if you are single and doing well. If you are single and you are desperate and you are a whore, no. This, this person isn't no whore. This person is solid, stable, secure, practical, real, hard worker built themselves up, is valuable, and knows their value. So we have a very valuable individual here that is being noticed. And I feel like they are going to receive the message that they are looking for. But you might have to be patient because this person has dealt with an ex that didn't love them. You may not be prepared, or somebody may not be prepared. There is, there is a major new beginning here with somebody that you are very, 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 very familiar with. Good luck.